we will talk about pulmonary edema pulmonary edema means fluid in the lungs we can understand it literally it means fluid in the lungs fluid in the alveoli directly it's not fluid in the pleural cavity when there is fluid in the pleural cavity it is called pleural effusion for example if there is fluid in pleural cavity is pleural effusion but if there is fluid inside lungs directly inside lungs it is pulmonary edema what is the symptoms of pulmonary edema first and most common symptom is shortness of breath difficulty breathing shortness of breath or dyspnea it is the first and most common and most important sign of pulmonary edema and especially this discomfort is increased when person is lying down position and this uh, discomfort will relieved when person standing up or uh, sitting up and when person feels more uh, discomfort during laying down it is called orthopnea <coughs> orthopnea is form of shortness of breath when person feels worse when he or she is lying down second most common uh, symptom is cough coughing usually is wet and with uh, frothy uh, sputum that is sometimes tinged with blood and it has um, pinkish color so uh, if there is wet cough with pinkish color and person feels dyspnea and orthopnea especially it can be because of pulmonary edema and now let's say what are the most common cause of pulmonary edema what is most important and how classical pulmonary edema patient looks like classical patient looks like person with hypertension person with heart disease history of heart disease usually such persons are overweight or obese and they have history of heart disease and they have weakness and shortness of breath and fatigue and anxiety uh, that's a classical patient of pulmonary edema uh, most common cause of pulmonary edema is heart failure especially left-sided heart failure it's responsible on 70 percent of pulmonary edema cases is left-sided heart failure uh, at this case we have pulmonary edema and many cases also we have pleural effusion so here we have both this condition together in many cases so we have fluid in the lungs and around lungs also both uh, it's because of heart failure and such patients have shortness of breath weakness fatigue uh, usually they are older people and this pulmonary edema develops over time slowly it's progressive process and it's not one night process uh, it it occurs slowly gradually and it's responsible on 70 percent of cases of pulmonary edema uh, what is treatment at this case treatment is diuretics ac inhibitors um, ARBs and uh, so diuretics is very important to reduce this pulmonary edema uh, to reduce pulmonary edema and to improve breathing that's why we need diuretics so diuretics is key component for treatment second most common cause of pulmonary edema is acute respiratory distress syndrome acute dis respiratory distress syndrome means lung failure acute lung failure when person has severe pneumonia for example severe infection severe trauma severe injury of lungs then acute distress syndrome uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome is developed and it causes pulmonary edema also it's emergency situation and it requires emergency treatment 
Third most common cause is, is kidney problems. Usually kidney problems are chronic kidney disease or acute kidney injury, but can cause pulmonary edema. So first is lung failure, uh, heart failure. Second is acute respiratory distress syndrome. And third most common cause is kidney problems. And fourth most common cause is high attitude pulmonary edema. It is condition when person usually young and healthy person uh, ascends to the high altitude very rapidly without acclimatization. At this case, pulmonary, pulmonary edema develops because of this rapid change of altitude and it happens usually with healthy people. And it's, uh, it's, con it's not a very common condition, but if it's developed, you can guess that it's pulmonary edema in young, uh, strong and healthy people. Now let's say what is the treatment of pulmonary edema. First and most important treatment of pulmonary edema is diuretics. Uh, of course, if there is pleural, pleural effusion also, so if we have fluid um, around lungs also, if we have fluid uh, in pleural also, uh, then uh, drainage this fluid is important. But if we have only pulmonary edema, then first and most important treatment is diuretics. Val vasodilators also, nitroglycerin to reduce heart workload is important and sometimes inotropic agent to strengthen heart's uh, heartbeat. To strengthen heart uh, heartbeat is very important. That's why uh, di uh, digoxin is used also at this case when people have heart failure. And a uh, low sodium diet is Im important also because it decreases fluid retention and regular physical activity is important. Uh, now let's say about prognosis. What is prognosis of pulmonary edema? Uh, we can say exact numbers because it depends on specific situation. But as a general rule, we can say that uh, acute pulmonary edema has better prognosis generally compared to chronic pulmonary edema because usually chronic pulmonary edema is caused by heart failure. Heart failure is progressive condition and it works over time. That's why uh, chronic pulmonary edema has worse prognosis compared to acute pulmonary edema in many cases. Of course, it depend, depends on individual situation and it depends on specific situation. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.